ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਕਾ ਖਾਲਸਾ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਕੀ ਫਤਿਹ um level 3 ਦੇ ਬੱਚਿਆਂ ਨੂੰ ਜੀ ਆਇਆ ਨੂੰ today we will do a new lesson in psl reader 3a and the lesson we are going to do today is lesson number 18 and um it is on page 65 in your book now this lesson is interesting and this lesson is easy um you know you have one letter in uh english letter x that makes two sounds it makes a sound x right right in x ray or it makes a sound z like in xylophone right just like that we have some letters in punjabi that make two different sounds and depends on if they come in the middle of the word end of the word or beginning of the word so the first they're called tonals okay so first tonal letter is kaga now why is it important for us to know this it's important for us to know so that when we are reading when we are spelling when we are writing we know uh, how to spell correctly and how to write the correct letter where we need it right so this letter is kaga and your standard is that you will know the sounds of all the letters um and especially the tonals because they are the complicated ones theek okay? hai and what's your reading standard your reading standard is that you can read the stories and the poems uh, independently and um there are five letters in gurmukhi script a punjabi language that make two different sounds and you know them already one is kaga one is uh, tadda one is tadda one is pabba and one is chijja um and they're called tonal letters right now this one is kaga it makes two different sounds okay Now let's read this poem and we will know the sounds exactly what it makes. And you will listen to me first and then you'll read with me. Okay? Kagga kanda ka janga ka jagga, right? Kagga kanda ka janga ghar vich kakka khang vich gagga ikko akhar do awazan kakke gagge da mel hai kagga. So kakka either says ka or ga. If we say the word kar <coughs> it says ka sound kar say the word kar ka right and if you say khang g at the end you hear the sound ga and it's made of the combination of kakka and gaga okay now read the poem with me kagga kanda ka jagga kagga kanda ka jagga kar vich kakka khang vich gaga ikko akhar do awaza kakke gagge da mel hai kagga okay now later on when we finish the lesson you're going to circle all the kagga letters the words in it here and you will copy the poem um on the next pages okay you will have space there now here's a short short story it's a silly story but again the idea is to have practice in reading kagga words there are total 82 words in this one and you should take less than 2 or 3 minutes to read it so first you listen to me i'll explain to you what it means and then you're going to read with me okay all right okay bagel singh da bachcha bagel singh kagge pind vich rehnda si us de ghar vich us di ghar wali means wife kuri ate onna da bachcha kolu vi rehnde san ਇੱਕ ਦਿਨ ਕੋਲੂ ਉੱਚੀ ਉੱਚੀ ਸੰਗ ਪਾੜ ਪਾੜ ਕੇ ਰੋ ਰਿਆ ਸੀ ਰੋਂਦੇ ਰੋਂਦੇ ਉਸ ਨੂੰ ਬਹੁਤ ਖੰਗ ਆਈ ਮਾਂ ਨੇ ਉਸ ਨੂੰ ਬਹੁਤ ਪਿਆਰ ਕੀਤਾ ਤੇ ਘੁੱਟ ਕੇ ਛਾਤੀ ਨਾਲ ਲਾਇਆ ਕੋਲੂ ਚੁੱਪ ਹੋ ਗਿਆ ਉਸ ਦੀ ਮਾਂ ਨੇ ਉਸ ਨੂੰ ਪੰਗੂੜੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਪਾ ਕੇ ਝੂਟੇ ਦਿੱਤੇ ਕੋਲੂ ਛੇਤੀ ਹੀ ਕੂਕ ਸੌ ਗਿਆ ਤੇ ਡੂੰਗੇ ਸਾ ਲੈਣ ਲੱਗਾ ਸੋ ਯੂ ਸੀ ਵੀ ਹੈਵ ਲੋਟਸ ਆਫ ਕਗਾ ਵਰਡਸ ਇਨ ਇਟ ਰਾਈਟ ਸੋ ਇਟਸ ਅ ਸਟੋਰੀ ਆਫ ਅ ਲਿਟਲ ਬॉय ਹੂ ਕ੍ਰਾਈਜ਼ ਐਂਡ ਕ੍ਰਾਈਜ਼ ਐਂਡ ਕ੍ਰਾਈਜ਼ ਐਟ ਲਾਊਡ ਐਂਡ ਥੈਨ ਹੀ ਸਟਾਰਟਸ ਕਾਫਿੰਗ ਹਿਸ ਮਮੀ ਲਵਸ ਹਿਮ ਸ਼ੀ ਹਗਸ ਹਿਮ ਕਲੋਜ਼ ਟੂ ਹਰ ਚੈਸਟ ਥੈਨ ਸ਼ੀ ਪੁਟਸ ਹਿਮ ਇਨ ਦਾ ਕ੍ਰੇਡਲ ਐਂਡ ਸ਼ੀ ਰੌਕਸ ਹਿਮ ਐਂਡ ਹੀ ਫਾਲਸ ਅਸਲੀਪ ਐਂਡ ਵੈਨ ਹੀ ਫਾਲਸ ਅਸਲੀਪ ਹੀ ਟੇਕਸ ਡੀਪ ਬ੍ਰੈਥਸ ਥੈਟਸ ਵਾਟ ਦ ਸਟੋਰੀ ਇਜ਼ ਸੇਇੰਗ ਰਾਈਟ ਸੋ ਅਮ ਡੂ ਯੂ ਥਿੰਕ ਯੂ ਕੈਨ ਰੀਡ ਦ ਸਟੋਰੀ ਬਾਈ ਯੂਰਸੈਲਫ I think you can. So I want you to read the story to yourself at read as many times as you can and then you're going to answer some questions. Make sure you can read less than 3 minutes, okay? Now, 
you know, figurative language is when we say uh, words um, that mean something um, amazing or they make a different impression in our heads. When we say uh, words again and again, like you say, I like you very, very much. That means I really, really like you, right? I really, really love pancakes, right? So similarly, we speak in Punjabi, right? When we read, Sang paad paad ke ro si. That means he was crying out so loud. Sang paad paad ke means crying out really loud. Sang is your throat. Paad ke means opening wide, right? That next one is ronde ronde usnu bot khangai. Ronde ronde. We can say ronde hoye, right? We, but we are saying ronde ronde means two times. That means it's, it's really important. Ronde ronde means while crying. Now, you tell me, turn the page. These words, do you think you can figure out the meaning of these words? It says, khang khang ke usda gala dard ho gaya. While coughing, coughing hard, his throat started hurting, right? What do you mean, lik lik ke usda hat thak gaya? Lik lik ke. Okay, you will write the meaning over here. Has has ke usda tid duk gaya. Have you ever cried so hard that your tummy hurts? Ro ro ke us diya akha sujgiyan. Sometimes our eyes swell or they become red when we cry too much. I hope you never have to cry so much. Dor dor ke us saho saho ke. Saho saho is out of breath. <laughs> That's saho saho. Okay. So you will write the meanings of these words here. Now for homework, um, these are the activities. There are a few questions you will write answers to. And then you will do copying the poem. Bagel Singh di karwali atte bache da ki na hai. Okay, what is the name of Bugay Singh's wife and child? So you will find the names and the story and write them. Jad ko lu sang paad paad ke roya ta usnu ki hoya. So the answer is in the, in the story. Here are multiple choices. Make sure you read the questions. There are three answer choices. One of them is correct. So make sure you find the right answer. Okay. Now here is the poem again. Read the poem. Circle the covers and copy the poem in your best handwriting. Here are some words with gaga in them from the short story that we read um, and you're going to copy them five times and then take a picture of this page for your teacher and send it to her so that she knows that you have done the work. So this was a short, short lesson and uh, next week we will learn another letter. So until then, keep on learning Punjabi, keep on working hard, make sure you study Punjabi for seven minutes a day at least, read a short poem, read a few sentences, copy a couple of sentences um, and speak Punjabi and you will become great Punjabi readers. So I appreciate you working with me. Wahiguchi ka khalsa, Wahiguchi ki fateh.